Pareto charts rate issues, according to the importance and frequency, by prioritizing problems or causes in a manner that facilitates problem solving. The purpose of the Pareto chart is to highlight the most important, among a set of factors. In quality control, it often represents the most common sources of defects, the highest occurring type of defect, or the most frequent reasons for customer complaints and so on. In this example, XYZ Clothing Store was seeing a steady decline in business. By collecting data and displaying it in a Pareto chart, the manager could see which variables were having the most influence. Scattered diagrams illustrate positive and negative directions of relationships, and to discover cause and effect relationships, as well as bonds and correlations, between two variables. The quality control chart shows a process over a time interval and identifies trends, shifts, and patterns. A flowchart is a diagram that represents an algorithm or process showing the steps as boxes of various kinds, and their order by connecting these with arrows. This diagrammatic representation can give a step by step solution to a given problem. Flowcharts are used in analyzing designing, documenting or managing a process or program in various fields. In the following slides, we will demonstrate the usage of flow charting in describing other tools. Flow charting uses standardized symbols as per the standard ISO 5807. The flow chart for consensus reaching is shown. Consensus reaching is a methodical way to find a collective conclusion that aids in project management, along with other tools, such as expert judgment. The flow chart for the eight disciplines problem solving is a method used to approach and to resolve problems, typically employed by quality engineers and other professionals. This example outlines the flow chart for the injection process. The fishbone diagram identifies many possible causes for an effect or problem. It can be used to structure a brainstorming session. It immediately sorts ideas into useful categories. The cause and effect diagram illustrate multiple levels of potential causes, inputs, and ultimate effects, outputs, of problems or causes that may arise in the course of business. The cause and effect diagram is also known as the fishbone diagram, or Ishikawa diagram, after the name of its inventor. This is a practical example of the use of cause and effect diagram to solve a difficulty on locating a drawing. This is a practical example of the use of cause and effect diagram to solve the problem of too long research, development, and implementation cycle. A histogram is a graphic summary of variation in a set of data that can be analyzed in order to make decisions regarding them. Cost analysis is an analysis performed to review and evaluate separate cost elements for a particular period. A sample cost analysis table is shown in the figure. In the next step, we will create the histogram for it. This is the created histogram for the cost analysis data.
the check sheet is a simple document, that is used for collecting data in real time, and at the location, where the data is generated. The items to be performed for a task, are listed in a checklist to indicate as complete, when each is accomplished.